Hello, I'm Julia Woning. I'm from the Netherlands. I'm an artist, illustrator, portraitist and author of several books. But Pam Pestel Workshop Book is the book about Pam Pestel. And let me show you how you work with your Pam Pestels and those soft tools on Pastel Mop Paper. This is the Julia Woning set. So these are my, this is my choice of those 80 colors. These are nine colors and one colorless blender. A perfect starter set to work or start with pen pastel. In the set there is also a combination of two tools and some sponges. Later on I will explain how you can work with those sponges and tools with pen pastel. But let me explain a little bit more about pen pastel. Pen pastel is just so much more than just pastel in a pen. You can unscrew them or you can put it in a tower like this with the lid on it. I prefer the tray where you can stack them separately and with a big lid, much easier. So this is my tip. If you don't have a tray, get a tray. Um, pen pastel, I explained in the English book, and of course there's also a Dutch version, um, how you can work on several services with color, with black and white, with pen pastels and all those tips and tricks. The most important thing I want to explain to you is how the color range is arranged. You can see there are tints, pure color, shades and extra dark. The pure color says it all. This is the pure color. There is a mixed color in tints. So this is white with a pure color. This is a pure color with some black or gray. And this is a pure color with a lot of black. Pen pastel book. You can buy them where you can buy your pen pastels or you can order them. And that's worldwide. But now back to pen pastels and those soft sponges. There are several sorts of sponges available and there are little tools available. But let me show you why they created these sponges to combine with your pen pastel. And let me get a tray with my colors already in use. When you're acquainted with the classical pastels, everyone wants to dive in with their fingers. It's very smooth and it feels like the pastels that you're used to, but it doesn't work with your fingers. That's why they have created those sponges. I heard a lot that they are using makeup sponges. It's different. It's a different material. You will use much more pan pastel than is necessary so I always advise to use the original sponges because they are efficient. Let me see just one or two wipes and you can see on ordinary drawing paper it's very easy to apply those pen pastels. If you want to make a blending I will use a blender, the colorless blender and you can Blend and get a less opaque color on your paper. Like this. If you use a white, you mix the white pigments with the red and you get a chalky appearance. So there is a difference if you want to blend with a colorless blender or with the white one. You can mix your colors very easily. I can use a yellow with some red in my sponge and I create my own orange color. And yes, your pen get dirty. No problem. Take a clean part of your sponge, go on top of it and it's all gone. What you also see, I don't create an excess of dust. That's not necessary with those sponges. So be aware of that. There are also some soft tools like these in several forms. 
let me show you. And they have covers of those sponges. Very nice to work with. And yes, you can get small details. Because if I use the square one, I can use also the points. And I can create very thin lines. If I want to create another color, I can use the side of my soft tool, like this. With a little bit red, a little bit white. So I uploading my soft tools and I can create a beautiful orange. Just to apply your colors like that on your soft tool. This is regular drawing paper or the classical pastel paper. It's much different if you are using pastel mop paper. Let me show you how it could look like. Like this one. Or about this portrait. These. I hope you can see because I have wrapped them in foil. And that's also a question. I do not use fixative on my pastel mop paper with pan pastels because it's not necessary. How you can start on pastel mop paper. Pastel mop paper you have that in several colors and in different sizes. And yes, there is only pastel mop from Clairefontaine. There are different um, Sanded paper, but nothing like the pastel mod paper. So there's only one brand of pastel mod paper, and that's from Claire Fontaine. And it's it's celluloise. If you hear, it's a almost sanded like paper, but not with sand, but with celluloise. And uh, it gives so much layering. And there is something different than ordinary dra drawing paper or pastel paper. And let me show you. If I want to apply pen pastel on pastel mop paper, I'm not going any larger than this size before I get a underlayer. And that can be a full color or a blended color. There has to be an underlayer underneath before you can apply a blending or a mixture of those colors so this is a rough underlayer now i apply some red on top of it and you can see now i can apply a larger area without any pressure so if i take a yellow and put it on top of the first layer I can mix a larger area and that's why many people are doing it wrong. They want to apply those larger areas and you can see you get all those smudges and your sponge will deteriorate. You have to apply an underlayer. That can be, and let me take something different, just a blender for the first layer and you can't see it but it's still there. Be aware that you don't apply too much. So that's also something. So it's difficult. You have to get acquainted with the paper and with the product. And then you can apply a new color on top of it. And then it's much easier to do large areas. Because there is an underlayer on the paper. So be aware there has to be an underlayer. And let me show you an example. I'm working here. On pastel mat paper like this and there is already an underlayer so if I want to apply a different color like for example a white shine I can apply that very easily if I want to apply for example a very large area I can do so because there is already an underlayer so I can blend it very well and can apply lots of layers without deteriorating my sponges because there is an underlayer on the pastel mop paper. So be aware if you want to apply pen pastel on pastel mop paper for the first time, you need to do nothing more than just the size of the sponge. 
And when you have applied many several layers like these, and you can use several colors, doesn't matter. And then you can apply those colors and mix them all together. Because if they, if you do that without the underlayer like this, and you want to apply, it's very hard. You have to do much more pressure with your sponges and it doesn't work that easy. And that's what the biggest mistake. So probably I am telling you over and over again, but I'm hope that it will stick to you that you need an underlayer on your pastel mat before you can apply larger areas with those sponges. If you get the hang of it, you don't want anything else than the original sponges and tools with the pan pastel on pastel mat paper. Hope you enjoy your pan pastel. If there are any other questions, please leave it comments down below. And don't forget, there is also a link in the comments of my YouTube playlist with all those pan pastels and those different workshops. You can find the workshops when there is a WS in front of the title and the other videos are without comment. But I hope to inspire lots of people with pan pastel and of course the pan pastel book that's still available in English there where you can buy your pan pastels. Thanks for watching. Hope I inspire you and enjoy the video. Until the next time. Bye.